Hey guys, Professor O'Kane here. Hope everybody is keeping well. I don't know if you guys knew this, but all of the greatest guitar players are able to answer this one particular question. The answer to that particular question unlocks the fretboard and music itself. But before I tell you what that question is, have you ever felt like you're stuck in a rut? Or perhaps that you're in this intermediate phase and it's just going on forever, you're not getting anywhere? Are you playing the same tired old licks over and over and over? Well, you don't have to feel bad because lots of people feel that way. And if you just knew what this one question was and the answer to that one question, you too would be able to unlock all of this incredible stuff that all of the greatest players have unlocked. I don't know about you guys, but I am sick of this stuff and I call bull sheep on all of it. Right now, guitar courses are about as plentiful as there are amazing guitar players on IG. It seems everybody has a course. If you've clicked on anything that has to do with guitar, that means pedals, amplifiers, even a guitar pick, you are now pegged as a guitar consumer. So what happens to us guitar consumers? We get all of these adverts from teachers that, well, I don't know how to put this, but it's borderline unethical, the stuff that they say in their advert. Not only is it unethical, it's misleading. I don't know about you guys, but I've had enough of it. I've had it up to about... Now I have to say that I think that these people that are selling the courses are probably all right guys. But the way they are selling the courses, promising these unobtainable outcomes with no work, no knowledge, barely any practice time, is pure bullshard. With all of the redundancy on YouTube, I was hoping that there was gonna be somebody taking these people to task, but there's nothing. Let me put together a very short list of what is definitely bullshit. If you learn this one pattern, you'll be able to play in any key and improvise freely all around the neck without really putting much time into it. With these seven emotions, you are going to be able to unlock music in a way that you've never been able to do it before. The guitar will appear bulls. Yeah. If you ever hear somebody say, you don't have to be a damn prodigy, you know, wherever that kind of hating happens, it's not too far away from the bullshit dumpster. You don't have to learn music theory at all. And then a few steps down the line, they're telling you, yeah, you have to learn music theory. I don't know how this nonsense surfaced, except maybe it was using the mighty dollar as a flotation device. The most bogus sounding guitar courses with the coercive copy and the funnels that take you here and there and get you to wonder what that one question is and then never tell you because it doesn't exist. All those adverts that we are seeing copious amounts of have the most money behind them. Do you think it's really cheap to advertise on YouTube constantly? If they're putting the most amount of money in for advertising, you know, we're seeing all the adverts over and over and over, then that must mean that they're probably doing the largest amount of business. Now mind you, I'm sure that there are some guitar players, maybe a lot of guitar players that are going through these courses that are truly inspired by them. But that fact does not negate all the other bullshits that we've not only had to endure, but that are, are just out and out lies. Come here, if you're watching my channel, you're a guitar player who appreciates improvised music, great playing, and you know that this stuff does not happen overnight. A question that a lot of the greatest guitar players in history have answered is, how much did you practice? Well, Steve Vai practiced every waking moment. I recommend that you pick a time that's yours. A time where you shut off the cell phone, shut off the telephone, turn off the internet, and, uh, and sit and focus on your goal. Scott Henderson is constantly practicing and transcribing. I remember reading in an old guitar player magazine, Eddie Van Halen saying that he would come home from school, he'd sit on the corner of his bed and he'd start practicing. Meanwhile, his brother would go out to a party, come back, and there Eddie was still practicing at 3 a.m. 
There are many more answers to the how much did you practice question and all of the top players will tell you that it took years of hard work, years of many hours per day to get to that upper echelon level. If the best players in recent guitar history practiced and worked that hard, then if we just scale it back a little, that means that we still have to practice pretty damn hard to rise to the level that we desire. Okay, so let's just take it down a level. Instead of looking at the upper crust of the best players that there are, to your average everyday players that documented their progress for a year. As you can see, many people are plotting their progress over the course of a year or some over 10 days I've seen right here. And then there's people who have done four hours a day, it, which is really nice to know that a lot of people have already discovered that it is the amount of hours that you put in and the amount of days. There's just no substitute for that. There's no doubt that these players work their butts off to get to where they are. And that took a year. They didn't have a magic pattern that allowed them to magically improvise in any key at any tempo. You know, there's some really great guitar teachers out there with some really good courses. Those aren't the people that I'm talking about. It is my hope and my prayer that these lie ridden adverts filled with copious amounts of bullshit disappear. We know that'll never happen. They're making way too much money. Promising the world, but delivering a driveway.